This is Riff, the fastest editor in the world, and he taught me how to edit fast. Flashback. So you're actually the first person that I've ever taught how to edit fast. So I just want to see what you're looking like. So just, just show me some edits real quick. Okay. Are you serious? Is this... Is this how slow you are? First step, you gotta get your speed down. The thing is though, don't just click as fast as you can. You gotta make sure that you actually time it in between each edit. As long as the build stays at one HP, then you have consistency down. Because consistency is pretty important when you're editing fast. Nice, okay, you're already looking good. Your single tile edits, you know, they're, they're pretty good. I can't even lie, they're pretty good. But that's not, that's not all there is to fast editing, okay? So I wanna see you do a quad edit. Can you do a quad edit? I, uh, I don't, I feel like you can't. And since then, I've broken editing records like the 12 fold world record and making over 53 invisible builds in a row on controller. In this video, me and Rift are going to give you some quick and easy to follow tips that'll make you edit way faster. Starting with a map to practice your edits and warm up. This is Raider's Impossible Edit Practice Map. It's designed for players of every skill level with courses ranging from easy to impossible. With every type of course from tunnels to edit downs and speed pad options, you can't go wrong with this map. Now me and Rift are in the map and we're gonna go over some in-game tips and drills you can use to make your editing faster. It's really not that complicated, bro. The first drill is to focus on the time from when you confirm your first edit and select your next edit. Rift, take it away. So we know we're starting on the most complicated edit course this entire map, but this is a very simple trick that you can learn. What you want to do is you grab the edit as close together as the two tiles and you basically let go and grab it instantly. So just like that, you grab as close as possible, you let go, reset, and then grab and instantly grab. Try to get as little as time as possible in between each edit. And you just kind of keep going like that. You might mess up a little bit because you're trying to get it as close as possible, but eventually you get the timing down. And then after you get the timing down, that's when you start to pick up a little bit of speed. The next tip is to focus on timing before speed. What I mean is you're not just spamming the buttons as fast as possible and hoping the edits confirm. I recommend the double edits without the speed pad if you're a beginner, and then slowly going into the speed pad the faster you get. If you were to just run through and start on the speed pad spamming your button, you might wonder why it's not registering and think it's your ping or delay or something that's causing these edits not to go through, but it's not. All this space in between each one of these sets of double edits is timing you need to stop spamming the button so you can flawlessly run through the course. If you run through it without the speed pad, it'll really exaggerate the difference in timing, which will help you learn the difference in the long run and make you a way faster editor. So if you're paying attention to where my cursor is right now on the screen, I'm barely moving it across the screen. That is another tip. You wanna keep your crosshair placement as smooth and as close to the center as possible. I'm not swinging my mouse all the way across. It's just unnecessary. It's gonna take longer. If you keep it as close as possible, it's a little harder to do it first, but if you keep it that close, you'll eventually be able to edit quicker. Now I'm in a build fight map to practice more realistic scenarios and the first drill is called box quad edits you're in a fully built box and someone tries to break in your box so what you need to be able to do is hold this wall and the second they start swinging their pickaxe you quad edit up into a new box for this drill you can just keep practicing it over and over again until you feel consistent the next drill is a box quad edit fake out so if you're in the same scenario where someone's trying to break into your box you hold the wall while they pickaxe and then instead of going up all the way, you only edit the floor and then you reset the cone window and you'll get a free pump shot. In full speed, it will look like this holding your gun. The next drill is just gonna be tunnels getting more and more difficult as you progress, starting with just a standard floor wall wall to the side. The next variation, you just put a cone on the floor and on the roof, making it a lot more protected. In full speed, it'll look like this. You can also practice it straight and side to side just so you can use it in all different scenarios. The next drill I recommend is actually Rift 90s because they're the fastest way to hike from your box position. If someone's trying to break into your box, you edit the cone up, double edit, place a wall to protect yourself quickly, and then reset the cone and continue going up. In full speed, it'll look like this, and then you can stop and build a full box once you notice you're on height. The final drill I recommend is building edit downs, and I recommend focusing on the time from confirming to selecting your next build, grabbing as quickly as possible like this. 
and then eventually you'll be able to do them on full speed like this. It's a protected way to get down from height and stop you from fall damage while still looking flashy. Now we're finally going to get into my controller settings. Starting off, I play with my frame rate limit one above what my monitor runs to make sure I'm always getting 144 FPS because that's what my monitor gets. And I also play with my brightness at 140% because it makes it easier to see people. Under my building controls, I have all of these on and auto confirm edits on both. Being on controller, you're gonna wanna make sure you have every advantage you can to try and keep up with keyboard players. Having reset and confirm edits both on release is a necessity. The next setting I'm going over, I get a lot of questions on because my edit button is circle or B on Xbox layout and I don't have to hold the button to select the edit. Now that's because a lot of people go over and say to put the edit hold time as low as possible but if you go into your controller binds if you go over to edit on your controller binds and have edit building as B and your confirm and select buttons as different buttons than B you will not have to hold the button to select edit. Make sure mantle activation is hold to jump, not hold forward, so you don't accidentally mantle into someone's shotgun. And make sure hurdle activation is pressed as press jump, so you can get in and out of windows of buildings quickly before you get shotgun when you're getting chased. For reticle damage and feedback, I have it on list and damage numbers at 125% scale, which is maxed out to make sure you can call out to your teammates exactly how much damage you did, so that way, you know, you're not you're not getting your boys killed. You're not getting your boys killed out there. You need build immediately on. Obviously, I think everyone knows that. Edit hold time, I already went over. You should not have to hold edit ever if you have the correct binds. And then slide hold time, I have at 0 0.075. So that way I can go in quick scenarios, but I'm not accidentally sliding at the wrong times. Make sure vibrations off so that way you don't throw your aim off when you shoot and it mess up your thumb accidentally moving your joystick. I have my build mode multiplier at 2.2 and my edit mode multiplier at 2.5 i always make sure my edit mode multiplier is higher than my build mode to make quick edits on people without getting shot back and i have it at 2.2 2.5 with a 42 42 on advanced which is pretty fast i recommend going a little slower if you're not used to a higher sensitivity otherwise you'll just be flailing around and missing all your edits all your builds getting shot and died inevitably i also make sure boost is off on everything instant boost off it doesn't matter because I'm at 0% and my ADS I have at 7.7 which is a lot lower than people have it makes it harder with snipers so you need to try and pre-align your shots before you aim in but it'll make you absolutely beam with your ARs and I make sure to have a linear curve otherwise you're just gonna be choppy with your movements people that use exponential you're wrong 